Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here, and we got a good shade for you today. We got a new shade for you today. We are using Lodrino Video Memories Tribute Collection 3. Um, this is supposed to be Stallone, I think. I don't know what happened. It came up. Only reason I didn't tell Jason at the Razor Company that it's got a scuff label is I used a gift card and I don't I don't really mind. But it's not normal to get a scuffed label from the Razor Company like Jason's even hit me up before and said, Hey man, that was the last tub you ordered and I don't like the label so I'm not going to charge you for it or um, I'm not going to charge you and I'm not going to ship it. However it may be. There we go. We will put up the Lodrino base ingredients and the scent notes for this. Kind of very irisy. The carnation comes through. Um... There's some patchouli. I almost feel like there's musk, but I don't remember seeing that in the scent notes. It, it's kind of a dated scent, kind of like the 80s in my opinion. It is a kind of a very 80s scent, very masculine. All right, so we whipped it up in our aquamarine Captain's Choice. We used the Sawdust Creations, the one that was made out of my UPS Browns. Micarta, pretty cool if you ask me. And I added so much water early on, and it actually stayed nice and creamy. It didn't get out of control. Look at that, guys. Impressed me. That's all I can say. May add a little bit more water. May need some. But, I mean, I drowned it in the beginning and didn't, like, slowly build this lather. Just trying to see what it could do. how it could handle being lather, but like I said, we drowned it. I'll add a little bit of water. Why not? And if you see, I'm just scraping off into the side of the bowl from the knot. A little bit in. A little bit in. I think that dials it in good enough. Maybe a little more on the neck. Just don't want it pasty on the neck. Like that's where you want the least amount of pastiness in my opinion. And I'll tell you what guys, doing an Arco video Man, you got everybody coming out of the woodworks. It's the worst. It's I've never had so many opinions about a soap I use. <clears throat> All right. We did put a pole silver in here because just want to see it. Sefferton told me this is his favorite way to use this razor is with the open comb. So we're going to give it a go. We got the sharpest blade in there. We're just going to see how it goes. I do like... Okay, piccolo means small, evidently. Hmm. Fine. But it's a cool little razor. I like it. I like the looks. I like how it feels. I like the weight. It's it's nice. I like it. And I was wrong. Sefferton did buy this new one. He's had it for a while, and there's no plating chipping off issues. Yeah, I don't know that you have more blade feel, but it feels a little more efficient. Yeah, this is, this scent. Very reminiscent of something I've smelled before from the 80s.
There we go. Look at all that. Very reminiscent scent. The people from Ladrino watched this and they were inspired by some other scent or it's a dupe. Please tell me in the comments. I'd like to know because um, I won't figure it out, but there's something very reminiscent about it from the 80s, early 90s. Like someone I was around smelled like this. Man, no, we're going to add more water to this. It's just super dense, and I feel like it just needs more water. I mean, y'all see, I just added a good bit of water, in my opinion. And uh, still super, whoa, thick. But we got bloops, so you know it's hydrated. Look at that bloopage. Oh crap. Speaking of bloopage. All right. That feels really good. That's nice. That felt really good. Felt smooth. Problem I've only experienced with the fatigue. When you rinse it, you do kind of have to give it a little shake to get all the water out of the open comb. It kind of help, helps lubricate, though. If you don't, you get water all down your face. Look how thick and cushiony that looks. I know I'm pulling the wrong direction for that. That's pretty close. Bloops everywhere, man. Okay, I don't usually do this, but guys, you gotta just... This was, I mean, and I've made good lathers before, but this is really just... I mean, it's a... That's a luxurious, hydrated, you know? It's a good lather, man. All right, guys, you know the drill. We're gonna rinse up, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. That was a beautiful shave, felt good. Fatigue Piccolo, man. Like the open comb's nice. Like, it, it's nice. I like this tiny little handle. It's got a lot of weight for a tiny little handle. Like, is it solid brass? And if so, that's still heavy. It's still so heavy. It's awesome. All right, matching splash. Label looks better this way. But yeah, shake, shake, shake. Such a familiar scent. I don't know where I've smelled it before. And the reason I feel like it's an older 80 scent is that's what you get from that Carnation, man. Carnation is one of those older scent notes. You just don't see as much anymore. Carnation's an obsession. Carnation's a lot of 80s friends, man. Very nice. Very nice, guys. That was an enjoyable shave. I used to shit on Fatip razors. Not kidding. Um, but I haven't had blade alignment issues. Now people have mentioned in the comments how they've had plating issues. Okay. Um, haven't seen that on the ones I have. Um, I will admit my retro. You could tell they didn't finish up the metal well before they did the plating, which can cause plating loss issues because it's not going to adhere as well. And any imperfections in the metal before you do the plating process will show up through the plating process and look worse than it did before you plated it. 
It's just something I, I found out watching Razor Emporium way back in the day. Um, he did a video. I'm sure he's done many videos stating that. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I like the Fatigue line at this point. I definitely like the retro in this. Um, we may try something out later on. But all right, guys, you made it this far. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.